Good evening and welcome to this video. Today we have the start of something a bit different. I know it says sub request in the title, but there is a bit of a uh, bit of a difference for this one. So a couple of weeks ago, I got asked by a subscriber called Kakang, although I'm just going to call him Kang because it's easier. Two eight two eight to basically take out a list of low tier vehicles for requests. Now normally I do not take lists because. To me, it's a faff, and most importantly, it means that if I take one list, people are going to give me lists left, right, and center. And, well, I'd rather not deal with the added blood pressure, let's put it that way, because there's a lot to get done in some cases. Now, fortunately, a lot of the vehicles he's given me are actually usable, so that's at least something. But... Yeah, this is something we're going to be trying. I'm going to be trying to fit his requests around other people. So, obviously, it will take a while for me to get through his stuff. But, to be honest, it shouldn't take too long. And, like I said, I can still work it around everyone else's. But, obviously, if this just feels like a bit too much of a hassle, I won't be taking lists in future. This is purely a test. We're going to be seeing if it works for me. Obviously, for you guys, you you don't really see the difference, but, you know, it's it's something to make a point of. But the fact is, is I'm going to be starting off with the with the basic stuff, so like the D500, D501, I think was one of his, and a couple of others. We're going to see how we go. I'll obviously get through the list, and then we can come to a conclusion of how I think if I want to do any more lists, which... The answer will probably be no, but let's see how it goes. So, let's get into the D500. I don't think I've actually featured this thing on the channel before, if memory serves. And to be honest, I'm not missing a lot. It's it's not great. This thing has a Spanish Suza 12-cylinder engine with 650 horsepower. So, no web, a two-bladed propeller, and uh, yeah, our armament is all right for low tier at least, so that's at least something. We do have access to two Dar 1933 machine guns with 7.5 caliber with 300 rounds each, and then we have two Mac 1934 machine guns with 300 rounds each. We will be burning through these ammo quickly because as you'll notice, the fire rate is nearly four times the ammo count. Yeah, uh, we won't be firing for very long, and if we can split the guns on this, which I don't think I want to, but I might not have a choice. I will certainly be doing that, let's put it that way. But yeah, the overall performance of this thing is quite low. We do have a tiny bit of armor, which will make no difference whatsoever. But the fact is, is this thing really isn't that great. But, I mean, the D501, which is later down the line, which you can see here, we at least do get a 20mm cannon, as you can see as well. I have three repairs left on it, that's how little I've flown it. Because why would I fly that when I've got the Ferrari sitting in the garage? But, you know, it's... I, I, I had to make that reference for Harry. And I know he's probably going to say, You're stealing my bits again, you damn brat! But, you know, it's... It's something I have to do, it's kind of customary at this point. But yeah, let's get in and let's get cracking with this French monoplane thing because yeah this this just you know it's it, it's one of those aircraft where i'm like why <laughs> who wants to see this thing but again i don't make the choice i i just do what you guys ask you ask me for a request i go okay i do it and if it's shit i tell you it's shit it's as simple as that but anyway since the matchmaker's been a bit slow recently, I'll see you in the match. And about 20 to 30 seconds later, we get our first match. Oh boy. Why do I have to do this to myself? I don't mean the list, I mean this aircraft specifically, because I do not like this thing. And I know some people are going to say, but Joe, you don't have three repairs left on it. Yeah, that's because it took that fucking long to spade it years ago. <sighs> and I can't split the guns. Wonderful. Alright, let's get this over and done with, and then I can move on to one with a cannon at least. And 
a little bit better prop if memory serves. I guess a three blade as opposed to a two. Alright. Just watching out for the buffalo because I don't want a mid air collision. I mean, it would probably make this thing a little bit faster if I lost the landing gear, but, you know, I'd rather not deal with that. But as you can see, this thing's speed, both in the climb and in general, is not great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have some greys after this, let's put it that way. At age 23, I shouldn't be having greys, so that's, that's something. But yes, this is full power. This is how this thing gets into the sky with its 620 odd horsepower. So yeah, this uh, this will be fun. But hopefully, we don't run into too many Heiji 100s because there's literally nothing I can do to those. And if any of them are going to be so kind as to crash, that'll make my job a lot easier. So, I'm going to get us some altitude and hopefully not die to anything that jumped me. And I will see you shortly. Well, welcome back. We've got ourselves some altitude and managed to get ourselves into a somewhat alright position. I've already checked the player card of that level, that HE100 pilot. Uh, we don't need to worry about him too much, but, well, he's still in a HE100. That thing blows the doors off of anything we've got, so we've got to be careful here. Alright. Let's dive in, I don't remember the rip speed. And I don't think I want to look it up, because I can't be asked. But I'm gonna treat it like I do my pallias, so because it's a similar airframe. Okay, one of nine's more maneuverable, so I'm gonna kill that first. Okay, since when did these machine guns hit like fucking twenty mils? Jesus, I just tore that guy into asshole. Jesus, these guns. Remember I said I thought I needed to, like, be careful with my ammo count? I don't think I do, because this thing is actually quite dangerous. Why is it going for me? The buffalo's more scary. You don't mess with a predator on the prairie? Well, there goes him. Well, biplane's coming for me now. No, sod off. Go away. Run. Hug the P400. Don't hug me. Yeah, that P400 is already on an ace. Because, well, he's just been taking head ons with shit and just killing stuff. Hello, Mr. HE51. Jesus, where are these guns? Since when are French 7.5s hitting that hard? Boy, they. Oh, no, he's coming for me again. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, this is just a slaughter. Like, this guy's on seven kills. I'm on three. And pretty much no one else has gotten to do anything. Sheesh. But I know that it is quick. I wouldn't have said so much bad shit. I mean, I would have said so much bad shit about this plane, but anyway. Let's get ourselves in a, a better attack angle, and hopefully we can, like, attack armored cars and kill them. Let's see what we can do. See, look at that! The damage is insane! Normally it takes 30 cals a lot short, a lot longer to actually do that, and here it is just melting them in a short burst. What the fuck have they done to these guns? That's not Joe saying he's gonna become a French main before anyone jumps in the fucking comments. I'll be a footer, right? And here's, here's your one British versus France joke for today. Being French in itself is bad enough. Being a French main, God help you. Like, seriously. Who the fuck wants to be French? But then again, you don't exactly get to choose. And it looks like that J87 is the last guy left. So we'll grab what little points we can before the match ends. Nope, oh, teammate, careful. I'd rather not get rammed. And there we go, nice and short. Easy peasy. 
Good job, team. What can I say? That is just how some of the matches go in this thing. Because, well, your team tends to do it for you. Overall, though, like, we did alright. Like, we didn't do too badly. It was quite a short match, but, well, that's to be expected. So, because I'm not going to skank you, I'm going to jump into a second game. See you shortly. And welcome to the second game. This will be another probably short one. Depends on if we have that P400 on our team again. And at least it's a smaller map, so... That's at least something. It's not by it's not smaller by a lot, but when you've got a two bladed prop at only six hundred horsepower, that's quite a difference. Let's put it that way. Oh, let's go. Oh, we have another Joseph in here. Good. That's how it should be. Let's roll. Into the sky we go at just under a hundred. Jesus, where? If there's one thing I can certainly say for certain that I wouldn't want to fly back when, or back in the day when these aircraft were flying, this would definitely be one of them. And I don't know if someone's going to say, but Joe, you just thought about the machine guns, how they nuke things. Yeah, that's Gaijin for you. That's not my fault. Oh, we have a team killer. Wonderful. Uh, can we just have one day where we don't have to deal with this shit? I think the CR714 is about to light him up anyway. Good. I'm going to watch this. This is... This is noteworthy. Come on, CR. Bitch slap him. Don't let him get away with it. No. Alright then. Gotta be boring and not punish the scumbag. Uh, what, what, what is it with people and like team killing? Like, what, what, like specifically troll accounts. What, what do you accomplish? Like, in all seriousness, like, is there something that, like, a personal satisfaction or something? Like, you get to kill someone through in their day? Like, does that really, like, benefit you? in any way, like, you lose a cell, you potentially get an in-game ban, like, what, what, what's the point? At least in a game like Helldivers 2, where the devs literally leave it in because it's funny, that at least makes sense and the community doesn't abuse that fact. Like, some do, but like, those are just the bad apples that ruin the bunch, but, you know, it, it's something to consider, you know? Anyway, audience participation, because I like to do these once in a while. If you play, well, do you play any racing games? And if so, which ones are your mains? I'll answer first, because, well, you're probably going to pause the video or, like, leave the video running as you go down to the comments, because I can read most of you like a book. But, um... My go-to is the Need for Speed series, but if I want something a little bit more realistic, I've recently gotten back into Gran Turismo 7. I'm not far off the Platinum Trophy for it on PlayStation, and uh, yeah, I've actually been getting back into it recently. I've been doing some of the online races, took a few P3s, P2, took a couple of P6s because French people don't know how to drive, but that's different. But it's it's actually quite fun. Like I've been enjoying myself. The the only problem is I have to grind like millions of credits just to get the three legendary cars because it was the one thing that I never did before putting the game away for a while. And yeah, it's not been too bad. Like I've I've enjoyed getting back into the saddle, to say the least. I've still got a lot of games in my backlog, but I will work through that as time goes on. Alright, now we need to deal with this buffalo, because it is the predator of the prairie. The predator of the prairie has been damaged. Good. Do I have any flaps? No, I do not. There we go. See, these guns are pretty alright, like, they're not bad at all. Oh shit, P36. I didn't see him until now. No, no, 
Ow, I needed that. That's my elevator, you pr Oh, he's just shut up, engine. Well, we're definitely dead. Just a matter of how long does it take for him to kill us. Because I don't have an engine. Alright, let's just dive. With our no horsepower. I don't know why I'm getting bum rushed, but... Well, it's probably because of the clan tag. People tend to bum rush people in a squadron. It's a bit like the old days of RuneScape. You used to bum rush people who, like, actually knew what they were doing. In, like, PvE and stuff like that. They're still sticking on me, it seems. Can I take him with me to the grave? He's just trying to ram me. And I think he just blacked out in that manoeuvre. <laughs> What level is he? R really? You blacked out in that maneuver? You shouldn't have been. Can I take this HE-51 with me to the grave? Because I won't get this thing back to the runway, that's for sure. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're not making it back to base. This thing has no power remaining. What's that in the water? It's a dead plane. Right, we're just going to have to try and land this thing somewhere, but given the amount of trees in the area, I don't think that's going to be a safe landing. Come on, don't die me now. We can land on the beach. Well, it's not really a beach, but, you know. It's the closest thing a Frenchman could probably get to a beach in a reasonable time. Yep, there goes the engine. Landing gear just took that. I'll do. At least this thing can now be a like a coral reef or something. All right, let's return to the hangar. I think we've done enough in this little plane. So yeah, that that wasn't too bad. Like we we definitely could have done a little bit better, but well, that's what happens when you get bomb rush and you don't pay attention. But well, I, I'm not really taking that sort of PR seriously, so I honestly couldn't give a shit. So that's at least something. But yeah, this thing is actually not as bad as I thought, but that's purely because of the guns feeling like 20 mils at a minute. I, I don't know what they've done to these machine guns, but they hit so damn hard. If you really want to like try out France, now's probably your time. That's that's definitely for sure, because these guns hit really impressively. But anyway, I'm going to leave you all to it for today. Obviously, this is the first of the list that um, I've got to go through and everything, so if there is a vehicle you want to request to me please do leave it in the comments below i will get obviously to it but obviously i will be working your requests as well as kang's requests around it personally though i don't think i'm going to do a list in future but we will see how it goes and see how it pans out and everything i don't want to jump too far ahead of myself but anyway i'm going to leave all to it for today really hope you enjoyed seeing the d500 and uh, little adventures in it and i will see you all on the next one